Hold my hand Inside your hands Now we talk about the meaning of heresies and how this understanding will help us to comprehend the negative aspects of some of the uh, church writers during the history of the church and some of the practices that do not fit well with the Bible and the dignity of man and woman. But before that, I just want to give you a little extra addition to what I was saying about God, the Trinity. Uh, the best example that we had from the fathers, just as a metaphor, it's, it's, not, it's not really a full description, but a metaphor to try to explain how can God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be one in nature, yet three discerned persons, each of them is not the, the other two, uh, and yet they are one and the same nature. The best example or model they gave us was the star in the sky, which is called the sun, S-U-N. The sun is a big star, bowl of fire, uh, and out of that comes a ray of light and a ray of heat, the infrared ray. Yet the three are exactly one, coexistent. None of the three existed before the others. But of course, in God there is no time. It is just a way to make things close to our mind. So God the Father is symbolized by that star. God the Son by the ray that has been born of, generated of the Son. And the Holy Spirit symbolized by the heat ray, which completely or continuously proceeds from God the Father. Father, the Son, the ray of light, the Holy Spirit, the ray of heat. The three are one. When you see the light, you say, this is the Son, it entered the room. It came in. Yet the star of the Son is still there and in connection and continuity with the ray of light that is reaching us. And the same with the ray of heat. When we feel warm, we say, oh, it's nice and sunny today and nice and warm. But this is not the star of the sun itself, yet it is one of and the same with it. I think this model is an excellent model to make things close to us. But remember that in metaphors we only have one simple similarity. If I say you are as strong as steel, I don't make a full comparison list between the steel as a metal and you as a human being. That becomes a myth. So the similarity here is just how three entities are still one in nature, joined together, they are not separated, but I can discern the sun star from the ray of heat, from the ray of light. Each one of them is not the others, but one and the same with the others in nature. I hope this is a good example. I want you also to see this lovely crystal or diamond. Well, believe that I own a diamond of that size. That would be interesting, won't it? This also gives us the idea of theosis, the incarnation of God in the human nature, in the matter of the universe. The light enters this crystal. It is lit with light. Yet it is the physical matter of the universe or the human nature symbolized by this crystal that Christ took when the Son of God became man. And this divinity is like that light, completely in and within the physical nature that Christ took from our universe which the Virgin Mary offered, saying yes to the call of God when the Annunciation was uh, revealed to her. Yet the light is not the crystal, and the crystal is not the light, but they are both joined together in one illuminated lit crystal. This is the understanding of the Coptic Orthodox Church of why we say that we are called the Miaphysites, not Monophysites, but Miaphysites. In other words, we believe that this lit crystal is one nature. The other Orthodox churches speak of the divine nature, the human nature, joined together in one person. And they don't like to use the word one nature because it was used by heretics, as we will see, Eutychus and uh, Arius. They were speaking of a one nature, but in the sense one of them said it's the nature of being a created being, like Arius, or the nature of being God and divine only like Eutychus, and that's heretical. But we believe that the light, which symbolizes here the divine nature of Christ, completely united with the crystal, which is symbolizing the 
human nature or the matter or the universe created nature so the uncreated joined to the created and that becomes a one person or a one nature according to the explanation I told you again this exact model of the divine and the human joined together is what happens to you and me when the Holy Spirit lives in us the divine God joins to me he lifts me up he lifts me like this crystal being lit yet he does not become matter or dust because all matter is dust that's the word for all the elements carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen etc etc we call it dust according to the old literature when people didn't understand the difference between different types of elements and compounds so this matter is united to the light and i am matter conscious or organic living matter in the form of that human being that you see in front of you and within me the Holy Spirit lives to join me with him neither the Holy Spirit becomes dust like me nor do I become equal in nature to God yet I am deified I am lifted like the crystal here is lifted to become glorified in nature to God now heresies started to disagree with this and the root of all heresies is they considered matter to be unclean, so lowly, so dirty and wicked. In fact, the Gnostics, with the G at the beginning, and the Manichaeans, following Mani from the 3rd century, the Gnosticism is an extension of the uh, old uh, Platonic understanding that it's the good God who created spirits and the spiritual realm, and then Emidiurge, a smaller uh, sub-god somehow, created the material world so that the material world would encapsulate, engulf, imprison the spirits in and we therefore have a physical being and a spiritual being both in a fight together and that's not actually the, uh, uh, the, the, the words of St. Paul in Galatians 5 when he speaks of the works of the flesh and the fruits of the spirit uh, that is a capital S, the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit in me desires against my sinful bad nature which is the whole human being spirit and body when I'm living away from God when I'm living with God and I'm lit like this I am called pnevma spirit those who are led by the spirit of God are spirit including my physical being as well as my spiritual being so this crystal tells us much about the understanding of the incarnation of God the Christology which is the divine nature of light uniting with the physical nature and it speaks much about our divinization, theosis, um, our deification, which means I am also a dust, a metal from this universe with my physical being, including my mind and my spirit, because these are also created physical things or aspects of my being. And the Holy Spirit unites me to him. Neither he becomes dust or a creature like me, nor do I become a creator in the full sense or by essence. I remain a human being. He is God and I am very clean. Therefore, I'm not like what the Gnostics and Manichaeans said about matter being bad. They actually despised food, especially drinking wine. And they despised eating meat. And they despised and defiled marriage. They said that's a very lonely thing for those who can't hold self-control. But only the perfect people will become celibates and they will keep the virginity and they will hate to get indulged in this sexual relationships. That's what the Manichaeans and the Gnostics said. This is the root of all heresies. This is why uh, Arius and Nestorius and Eutychus found it very difficult to believe that the nature of God, the light, can unite to our human nature, the dust or the created nature, and become one so that he can deify us in the meaning that I've explained. So uh, Arius said, no, 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 he's a creature somewhere between God and mankind. Yotika said he's totally God and his humanity was like a drop of uh, honey or uh, wine or vinegar that spilled in an ocean and that's about all. Then came Nestorius and he tried to say, no, 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 you are both wrong. He's 100% God, 100% human, but they were just put next to one another. They were not united as this light and the crystal. They were juxtaposed. But remember, although the divinity was within that crystal I was holding, 
he was still filling the whole universe and the whole creation. This is Christology, theosis, incarnation, and lots of good understandings.